of the universe. He has knocked out the devil. He has come into this world in a human body, put on flesh, and he has defeated sin in the flesh, defeated Satan in the grave, and he is raised today to the right hand of the Father where he is in glory and in splendor. And soon and very soon, Jesus is coming back to earth. He's coming to establish a new world order. And that is an order of righteousness. An order, friends, within people will then be able to have justice. Because King Jesus, the judge of the living and the dead, is coming back. Unfortunately, in the new world order that Jesus brings, the LGBT community will not be able to exist. God is bringing in his proper order, and it's God's order. Yes, there's many Christophobic people here today who hate the Lord Jesus Christ, but we love you, sir, and we pray that you'll come to know Jesus, that you'll come to have your sins forgiven, and you'll come to, to have your sins forgotten. I do. Oh, yeah. Who would want to be standing against Jesus today? I would like. Imagine. <laughs> I'm standing, Imagine not wearing not loving Jesus. Apparently I'm standing against Jesus, but I have a Holy Jesus. Bible in my hand. Imagine here we have this in front of us, Brian holding a, a flag that promotes anti-Christian values and yet holding the Word of God in his hand. That's called blasphemy. My Bible says that's taking God's Word and God's name in vain. The Bible says God will not hold you guiltless, Brian, for taking his name in vain. The Bible doesn't mention homosexuality. It doesn't. The Bible is very clear on the issue of homosexuality. Point it out, bring it over, come Genesis over. Genesis 19, Brian, read it out for us. Doesn't say anything read about homosexuality. 1, 24, 25, 26 and 27. It says unnatural, but doesn't say the word homosexual, so Men again. Men sleeping with men, it's not hard to understand. A five-year-old could understand it. <laughs> men sleeping with men is unnatural. So women sad. sleeping with women is unnatural. Using a microphone that is unnatural. Using a microphone is unnatural. Today that you would so. stand and hold a Bible that for centuries <laughs> has been available in the English language and many other languages, and it utterly condemns, it doesn't condone a homosexual lifestyle. Doesn't condemn We're not it. here today because we hate homosexual people. No, but you do. We're here today because we want to preach the truth. And the truth is, as God sees it, that homosexuality is sinful. Doesn't That's say that. That's the truth of the Bible. The truth of the Bible is very clear on the issue. Jesus said that there were only two genders and that those two genders were male and female and that God created them for the purpose of reproduction and that God intended that a man should leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and be married. Come on, we all know these things. These are what we call moral verities. They have been known throughout the world for centuries. Why is it today in the West? Why is it we've turned away from these things? Because we've turned away from God. And God says whenever you don't want Him, you're going to get given up to your sin. We've turned away from God and turned to our sin, and we're here today because we want you to get back to God. Whether you're a Catholic or a fraud, you can come back to God. God has purchased a return ticket for every one of you. He bought it with his own blood on the cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross. He yielded his life on the cross. And he did it in atonement for sin. He opened the life gate that all could go in. That's why Jesus himself could say, I am the door. By me, if any man enters in, he shall be saved. What a statement. Entering in through the door to get into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said he's the door. Jesus said you can come into him and come into heaven if you'll come into relationship with him. Genesis 19, nothing about homosexuality. <laughs> Earth is just a dead thing. 